so it's absolutely crazy what is currently happening to BlackBerry's stock, being down more than 10% again since the last video about a week ago. But as that also means that the pullbacks from the second spike at the beginning of the month are continuing, what we are going to do today is give you an updated insight into what is actually happening to the stock right now and break down exactly whether it is a buy at the end of this video. But bear in mind that it is absolutely crucial to know what we have to talk about today before buying the stock, so stay tuned for that. Before we jump right in however, just make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And as we'll keep you updated on breaking news and awesome trading opportunities every single day, subscribing would not only help us, but also you. So there is really no excuse for not smashing the subscribe button, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe if you feel so. Alright, let's start talking about the stock. And as said before, we are looking at an absolutely crazy company, as BlackBerry was once maybe even the biggest technology and smartphone company in the entire world, rocking an incredible growth stock that performed multiple thousand percent up to its highs in 2008. But as most of you probably already noticed, it then failed to compete with companies like Apple or Samsung, while gapping down massively to lows of under $4. Its business then completely pivoted however, and now makes BlackBerry a leading software and security company, with a big focus on artificial intelligence and machine learning. What makes this stock even crazier, especially right now, however, are the astonishing gains, first seen as a part of the major short squeezes in January. And we are talking about growth of more than 650%, making it one of the best performing stocks of the entire market again, then however pulling back from this first squeeze. But just a few months later, it went up about 100% again until it found a resistance right below $16. And this is where we are currently pulling down from, also leaving us at much cheaper prices, especially in regard to the fundamentals. So let's take a deeper look at those, as they are also crucial to consider for our prediction at the end of the video. So back at the beginning of the year for example, BlackBerry announced results for its fourth quarter of fiscal 2021 and reported sales of $210 million, representing a decline of 25% year-over-year however, also being lower than Wall Street's revenue estimates of $245 million. The company claimed that this was due to selling multiple patents, which ultimately meant, and this is also very important for the prediction at the end, that the company had to delay major sales activities that would have helped BlackBerry generate higher license revenues in the quarter ended in February 2021, however. Nevertheless, BlackBerry is a stock that just went crazy recently, which is due to another super important reason. Short squeeze potential and massive hype from retail investors. As said before, retail investors have bought huge amounts of shares, basically causing another short squeeze on BlackBerry's stock. And this was just possible because of the relatively high short interest, which the lower earnings were a big cause of as well. But as we are still pulling back, it seems more and more likely that this could happen again, as short interest is rising steadily. And while still being one of the most hyped stocks on Wall Street, this, the QNX business we talked about more in depth in the last video for example, has steadily seen weight lifted off its shoulders as well. Of course, the company's transformative story is mostly suitable for the most patient of long-term investors. Additionally, BlackBerry's collaboration with Amazon on Project Ivy looks extremely promising with huge growth potential. And even if you're in for the short term, it's very likely that BlackBerry will be moving, not fully because of fundamentals, but also due to retail investors hyping the stock up even more and buying to squeeze the shorts out of their positions and make the price climb higher and higher. And with prices currently declining, the stock gets more and more into heavier buy territory. We'll also keep you updated on when it makes the most sense to buy in future videos. Alright, with that being it for today's video however, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video and want to support our mission of providing free financial information to everyone here on YouTube, please ensure you're subscribed and definitely consider leaving a like. As mentioned before, it really means the world to us. Thanks a lot and see you next time.